Okay, AP Calculus AB here, we're asked to show that the function is a solution of the differential equation. And I had students come to me and they were like, kind of freaked out, what's going on here? I think when you realize how straightforward this question is, it will make it easy. Uh, why do you care about this? Because there's not a chance in the world you don't see something similar to this on the uh, AP Cal AB exam. So let's just look at this for a second. A differential e equation is frankly an equation that's made up of differentials. And, and here's this equation here that we're using. So all I'm doing is this. I'm going to define some stuff here. What I'm going to define is this. Oh, actually, this is y prime here. I'm going to define some stuff here. So I'm going to say y prime is equal to, well, what is, what is the first derivative of this? Well, it's 2 times the first derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x, isn't it? And the first derivative of 3 is 0, so y prime is equal to 2 over x. Okay? So hopefully that's making some sense, and why do I give a crap about that? Because that's one of the things that pieces I'm collecting here, we're asked to find this piece. So I'm like, okay, there's that piece. The next piece that we're asked to define is this one, what is y double prime. So I'm going to take y prime, and I'm going to rewrite that, and I'm going to say y prime is equal to 2 x to the negative 1, isn't it? And if that's true, then y double prime, which is what we're asked for, is equal to negative 2 x to the negative second power, which simplifies out to y double prime is equal to negative 2 over x squared, right? All I did was bring this down. This is a negative exponent, so I brought it down to here, right? And without trying to be hysterical, isn't this just true by by the mere fact that it's true, x is certainly equal to x. So all I'm going to do is take these pieces and put them in their places. We're asked to look. We're asked to take this piece and put it here, and that's what I'm going to do. We're asked to take this piece and put it here, aren't we? And lastly, we're asked to take this piece and put it here. And then we're going to test this and see if this is all true. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. That says here that it's x. So here's the x. y double prime is equal to, whoops, y double prime is equal to this piece right here. So times negative 2 over x squared, right? This plus sign right here is this plus sign. And then we're asked to put in y prime, which is 2x, right? And remember, this thing was, if, if this is true, if this is a solution, then when we simplify this, it should all go to 0, shouldn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and do this math, and x times negative 2 is negative 2x over x squared, plus 2 over x is equal to 0, question mark. We know that x over x squared is just, whoops, sorry. It's just x here. And isn't it true that negative 2 over x plus 2 over x is equal to 0? So there's our proof that this is a solution. All right? So what do we do? We look over here and we ask, what pieces are they, are they driving from? Provide ourselves these pieces, fill in the blanks, do our simplification, and get a good answer. So I really hope this was helpful. Again, there are some things on the AP exam that you're just not going to be able to get around, and this is certainly one of them. So good luck to you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do.